David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, today I have for you a pen from the Japanese manufacturer Sailor. Um, Sailor makes a wide variety of pens, ranging from very inexpensive starter pens all the way up to some amazing models that retail for thousands of dollars. Um, the pen that I'm going to take a look at today is one that I would consider to be their, their entry-level gold nibbed pen, uh, and that would be the Sailor 1911 Standard. Um, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the Sailor 1911 standard, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, yeah, and then stay tuned because after the review, um, I will let you know how you can win this very pen, courtesy of Pen Chalet, who provided this pen at no cost for review and for me to give away. Uh, and then also I have a discount code for Pen Chalet that I will uh, let you know about as well. Uh, for the U.S. market, the 1911 standard is Sailor's kind of entry-level gold nib pen. Um, in the Asian market, they offer a pen called the Promenade, which is a little less expensive than the 1911 standard, but uh, not necessarily readily available through authorized dealers here in the U.S. that I have seen. Uh, the pen arrives in this box. The sleeve comes off, uh, and here we have the actual box. I've always liked the Sailor logo and the uh, anchor kind of in their deep blue here on this box. I just always thought the uh, boxes looked really classy. And then inside we have the pen. Uh, on the inside is the same branding that's on the outside of the box. The tray actually lifts out and inside we have the uh, instruction manual. And then we also have a couple of uh, proprietary Sailor ink cartridges. I believe these are black. But more importantly, we have a pen. Uh, this is the Sailor 1911 Standard. Uh, and what we have here is a pen with a classic look and classic shape uh, that has a bit of a resemblance to a smaller version of the Mont Blanc 146. Um, but I feel that there's enough differences here to, to make the 1911 feel unique in its own right. Uh, it's made from resin, and it's a fairly light pen. It's not a huge pen either. Um, you'll see later in the size comparisons that it's very similar in size to the Pilot Metropolitan. Um, the 1911 standard is available in, uh, I think, around 10 different colors, and there's a variety of nib sizes, uh, which vary depending on the color of the model. Um, they come in uh, fine, uh, extra fine, medium fine, medium broad and even a zoom nib. Um, I actually have a, uh, a 1911 here in Fresca Blue that has a zoom nib. Uh, and I think this nib is unique enough that I had planned on actually doing a separate video just on uh, this pen at a later point in time. Um, let's start here by taking a look at the finial. Um, the end is rounded and we have a small gold band. Uh, then we have the clip. Uh, it's Sailor's traditional clip. Uh, you'll find this on a large number of their pens. Uh, the stair step design is the same on these clips, but some of the larger pens, like the Kinga pen, uh, the clip itself is a bit larger. Then we have the cap. Um, it angles up and then transitions to the cap band. Uh, there's a thin band and then a larger raised band that says Sailor, Japan, and founded 1911. Uh, and that's the inspiration behind the name of the pen. The Sailor Pen Company uh, began back in 1911. Um, I like that the letters on this band are stamped rather than engraved. Uh, I always think that, that looks a little bit nicer. There is a small angled step down to the barrel that slowly tapers down to another thin band. Uh, and then the end of the barrel is a little more extended than the, uh, the finial, but still rounded. The cap twists off, and here we have this 14 karat gold, gold-colored nib. It's stamped with 1911 and the Sailor Anchor logo. Then at the very bottom, it says Sailor. Uh, I like the Sailor Anchor logo, and uh, I like that they uh, have that more prominent as opposed to the company name. Uh, I noticed the font they use for the company name on the nib is different than what they use on their box and other marketing materials. I'm not sure why they have one look for their nibs and another one for just about everything else. Uh, then on the side of the nib, it's marked with HB, which stands for a hard broad. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. You'll see in the writing sample, but this hard broad nib is a bit firm. 
and there isn't a ton of give to it. Um, it's very much a Japanese broad nib, which is going to act more like a Western medium. And with the firmness of this nib, I find it to act more on the fine side of a Western medium. Uh, there's a little flare at the end of the section, and, and a rather short section. Uh, then we have a gold band which transitions into the threads, which I don't find to be sharp at all. Uh, and then there's a very small step up to the barrel. Um, and even though this section is on the short side, I, I do find it to be comfortable. Uh, it's just long enough for me to use unposted, uh, but the, the cap does post and it does post securely. Uh, and I actually, on this pen, prefer the additional weight uh, of, the, uh, of the cap. The cap is light enough that I don't feel that it throws off the balance of this pen at all. The 1911 standard is a cartridge converter pen. Um, Sailor does use a proprietary system, and a converter, as well as a couple of ink cartridges, as you saw, are included with this pen. Uh, on Pen Shelling, you can find this 1911 standard for $156, which is this standard, a pen standard price that you'll see on virtually all large retailers. Um, now, some of the versions uh, and some of the unique nibs might cost a little bit more, but $156 is the base price. Um, for a limited time uh, through Pen Chalet, if you use the code FIGBOOT, you can actually receive an additional 10% off of your order, which brings it down to $140, uh, which is a great price for this pen. Uh, and that go code is good site-wide for a limited time, not just uh, this specific pen. So it's worth taking advantage of. Um, Ron and uh, Pen Chalet have been a great supporters of my channel uh, over time, and I've greatly appreciated that. Um, so I encourage you to check out the site, and don't forget to use the discount code FIGBOOT for an additional 10% discount. Uh, okay, in regard to the giveaway, uh, all you need to do is leave a comment in the notes below. Uh, today is Sunday, September 17th, 2017, and you have until the end of day on Wednesday, the 20th of September to enter. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, the 1911 standard is a, a very good entry-level gold nib pen. Uh, so why don't you let me know what your uh, favorite entry-level gold nib pen is? Uh, again, the comment topic is not required, just a suggestion. But uh, I would highly recommend you leave a comment because if you don't already have a Sailor pen in your collection, this is a, uh, a very good way to acquire one. So thanks for go out again to Pen Chalet for, for, for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, now it's time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Sailor 1911 Standard. Um, here it is just to compare it with uh, the Sailor 1911 Large. Uh, you can see that uh, the Large is a little bit longer and the, both the finial and the, uh, the end of the barrel are a little more extended. Um, here it is with the, uh, the pen that I mentioned, the Sailor Promenade, uh, which is uh, a little more stubby when it comes to the ends. Uh, and like I said, I believe that that's only available in the Asian markets, or at least through Asian retailers. Uh, it's not available through the standard retailers in the U.S. Uh, and then we have a Sailor Pro Gear 2, which you'll see kind of has the flat ends. Then in regard to some other pens, uh, here it is with a Pilot Metropolitan, uh, and it's very similar in size to that pen. Uh, and then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. Uh, and then here it is with a Platinum 3776 in Chartres Blue. So here we go with the writing sample for the Sailor. 1911 standard and this is a hard broad nib and it is 14k uh, and the ink I'm using today is Robert Oster River of Fire This is what the ink looks like. 
uh, that it's uh, one of the newer inks that uh, that Oster has come out with. Uh, well, I guess it's a couple of months ago. It seems like they come out with a new ink every week. So I, I guess a newer ink from them uh, is something that's a week old. Uh, but it is a nice kind of green blue um, as opposed to something like the Ackerman blue green, which is a little more heavy on the blue side than the green side. Uh, and even Lamy Petrol, which I would say is a little more on the blue green than green blue, but they're kind of close in the same, somewhat in the same same family. Uh, and then this is what the bottle looks like. I've shown this before, but I do like uh, Robert Oster's bottles. It makes it very easy to uh, get the ink out of here, and the cap is plenty wide enough uh, so you can get virtually any nib in there. So uh, it's a nice design. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Now, this is, like I said, a hard, broad nib. Um, I do find that, um, you know, you can get a little bit of line variation if you push it out of here. But I do find that it, um, it really acts more like a, a medium, a Western medium, which is kind of traditional when it comes to uh, Japanese nibs, that they're usually a step down um, compared to Western uh, nibs. But it... Um, uh, it is on kind of almost with the firmness, almost more on the fine side of medium. Uh, and in regard to wetness, um, it's not the wettest, so it's um, uh, that it doesn't lay down, or I mean, it dries rather quickly. And it's not a, a nib that I would say is gushing uh, with ink. And in regard to reverse writing, it does not work at all in regard to writing reverse which is fine. Uh, and in regard to some fast writing, uh, the feed keeps up just fine. So thanks go out again to Penchile. Well, you can check out this pen, and don't forget to use the code FIGBOOT for a limited time for 10% off of your order. And that's site-wide, not just this specific pen. But uh, bringing the cost of this down to where it is, uh, if you don't own a sailor, uh, then this is a really good opportunity to get in there for a reasonable price so you can be part of the Sailor Club. Uh, it's one of those pen brands that it seems like people are very excited when they get their first sailor. Uh, and this is a, a good introduction to that brand. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.